morning everyone and welcome to the introductory video of our NPTEL course titled An Introduction to Climate Dynamics, Climate Variability and Climate Monitoring. I am Dr. Sayak Banerjee, a faculty in the Department of Climate Change in IIT Hyderabad and I will be the instructor for your course. Climate is one of the most important issues facing our world today. Since 1850 onwards, scientists have noticed that the mean temperature of the world has increased by over 1.2 degrees above the pre-industrial average. This increase has particularly accelerated over the last 50 years from 1970 onwards where the mean increase over pre-industrial average has risen from around 0.3 degree centigrade to around 1.5 degree centigrade in 2023, which has been the warmest year since the record began. This increase has been caused by the emissions of anthropogenic greenhouse gases like CO2 and methane by energy and the transportation sector. And there is a huge effort underway to understand what the impact of this climate change caused by the global warming as well as how to mitigate. Most of our Indian states are highly vulnerable or moderately vulnerable to climate change and this vulnerability is going to increase as time goes on. Hence, as scientists and engineers, we have to understand climate change, understand its physics, track it and see how we can mitigate. India has been leading this work. One example is a recent partnership with NASA to launch a remote sensing satellite, NISAR, that will track the change in the sea and land ice cover in the world. The objectives of this course is for me to provide you a broad overview of the physics and dynamics of global climate and its variabilities, to provide an introduction to the physics behind the anthropogenic global warming and how to quantify it using simple models, to introduce the various methods and technologies associated with measuring climate variables. The target audience includes both PG students, UG students and working professionals. PG students associated with climate, environment and renewable energy can take this course as a background in climate science. Working professionals who are working in uh, various engineering fields associated with uh, detecting climate change or renewable energy can use this course to understand the basic uh, climate change and global warming aspects that undergird their work. BTEC students, particularly in environmental science and engineering science, have atmospheric science, oceanic science and environmental science segments in their syllabus that will track well with the uh, objectives of this course. The key themes that we will cover will include understanding the atmospheric variables and their impact on global climate like temperature, pressure, humidity, hydrostatic balance and various astronomical variables. We will go over the global energy balance and its variabilities with space and time, understanding radiative transfers and introducing the greenhouse effect models. We will also introduce climate dynamics to atmospheric and oceanic circulation systems and climate variables due to atmosphere ocean interactions. We will introduce the physics of climate change to simple analytical models, what climate forcing means, what climate feedback means, and how to quantify this due to changes in the greenhouse gas concentration. And in the final few weeks of the class, we will introduce principles and measures of measuring climatic variables through in-situ and remote sensing systems. Some of the recommended books include The Introduction to Atmospheric Physics by David Andrews by Cambridge University Press, The Global Physical Climatology by Daniel Hartman by Elsevier, and Meteorological Measurements and Instrumentation by Riles Harrison by John Wiley and Sons. Though most of the course materials will be provided with you, so these are for reference only. The course structure will be about 2.5 to 3 hours of video lectures per week. The course duration is over 12 weeks. We will have weekly multiple choice question based online assignments. There will be periodically tutorial discussions and case studies. 
and the TAs will also be helping with those. There will be a multiple choice question based final exam and there will be monthly live sessions where you can ask your questions. So with that, I will end up this introductory presentation. I welcome you all to join this course and understand the physics behind the climate and how we can effectively monitor it in various uh, uh, climatological sensing devices. Thank you for listening and see you